just got us. There's a couple things I wanted to say before I get started that I thought was thinking of as I sat here. First of all, we have all these good looking people who got all dressed up. Mark has got a suit and a tie. Tony's got a suit and a tie. Our host, Brett's got a suit and a tie. I'm just in a shirt. And so if I could give any of you guys that wore suit and ties advice today, as an accessory, get this one. Okay? It's not a suit or a tie, okay? But it's a, the Pro 10 pin is accessorize any outfit. Make any outfit instantly better than a suit and a tie. And I, I was sitting here thinking earlier, you guys, something that Marcel told me in the very beginning, he's like, you guys, you have a big group out there, you just don't know it yet. They're huge, but you don't have any idea who they are yet. They're out there. You just have to turn over the right stones. You don't know who they are yet. So we talked to our son, Seth. And our son, Seth, talks to his, his friend, our other son, Ty, Tyrone Foster. Okay? And Tyrone Foster, I think, talks to some dude named Tala. Right? Am I right, and Becky? And then, and then Tala talks to this other dude named Julius. And, and, and Julius and Inga are a big part of our lives now. And, and Tyrone and his wife are a big part of our lives now. And we didn't know them before Life Vantage. And then Julius talks to Becky and Leo. And we didn't know Becky and Leo either, but they ended up babysitting our precious grandson while they're out building business together and while they're going to school and working. And, and, and we love Becky and Leo and that family now. We didn't even know them before Life Vantage. And then they talk to some people and the Williamses show up. And Miranda shows up, huge parts of our lives. And, and then they talk to some more people, and Jennifer Gilkison shows up. Do you see where I'm going with this? And then she talks to a couple of people, and Jackie Shepard and the Harrises show up. You know, and I'm going to leave people out. I could go down every single leg, but these are people I wouldn't even know. We, I had no idea that they existed, but now I know the world's a better place because of it. And I love network marketing for that. Now, the check slice, like my wife said, I'm not going to ever be one of those guys that said, I'll do it for free. It's totally not true. <laughs> I, I love Pro Tandem. I wouldn't talk about it if I wasn't going to get paid. But when you talk about the, the, uh, the, the, the after the check, the bigger than the check, the relationships with those kinds of people, I don't know. You can't put a price tag on that. It's, it's insane, but I think I'm a richer person, not just because I make Monopoly money, because I pass go every hour. I, I, I'm, a, I, I'm, a, I'm a richer, by the way, that is very cool, too, by the way. <laughs> like, if you're ever really, really sick, really, really sick, and you're sitting on the toilet for 45 minutes, and you go, I feel awful, I've been on the toilet for 45 minutes, you go, hey, I almost passed go. <laughs> right? It makes it, a, it makes it a little bit better. Right? So the money's awesome. But, the, but I'm a richer person because I get to know these people and hang around with them. And the truth is something that Krista said. The truth is, we had all of our leases over to our house, and it was a gr and then we went four wheeling, which was awesome. We took the jeeps out in uh, it's almost like the Grand Canyon where we live, right? It's what it looks like. And you know why we did that? The reason, the the genesis of that idea, the reason is because we want that for you so bad. We want you to have that. That's what we want. That's why we work now. That's why I'm away from my golf course. <laughs> and my grandkids right now is because we want that for you guys so bad. I want you to know what that joy is, to be able to just say, my grandkids all moved to St. George, Utah. Okay, let's go. Buy a house there. That's why. It's just that freedom is something that, that's really what I want to focus on for those last hours. I'm, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you what you need to do to be a pro-10. Um, because I know, because I'm a pro-10. <laughs> But before I tell you that, what I'm going to do is, honestly, I think I'm going to help. I'm going to give you guys an opportunity meeting that you can do in about 10 or 12 minutes. Would you be interested in a, a reproducible, impactful opportunity meeting? Now, I, I, I'm not going to teach it to you in 10 or 12 minutes. I'm going to teach it to you over t longer than that. But you just take out things that you like and you throw away things that you don't like. And you can use this template to go and talk to as many people as fast as you can because that's what you got to do. You know, that's all you got to do. You got, you can, if you strip away all the rest of the crap, you just got to talk to as many people as fast as you can. That's what you have to do. If you want to get to Pro 10, talk to as many people as fast as you can. I don't care about any of that other stuff. It's all just background noise. It's just stuff that the adversary throws in front of you so that you can't get where you want to go, where God wants you to be. He throws all this other crap in front of you to just distract you and make you go, okay, I quit. I, don't even, I can't even see the end. So I want to start there. Uh, Judy kind of stole my thunder just a little bit. Because she asked you the question, why not? That's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys at the very beginning about. I'm not going to tell you guys. I'm going to give you a little bit of an opportunity meeting so you know what you say to other people. But I have a question for you. You can only answer for yourselves. What are you saying to you? 
When you look in the mirror, what are you saying to yourself when you start out the day? What kind of talk are you... I, cause, and here's why. Tony Robbins would not love me on the golf course, okay? Because I'll hit a slice and I'll be, oh, come on, you're the worst golfer in the world. You don't have any feel. This is true. This is how I act. I'm an idiot on the golf course, <laughs> right? Because I, I just I want to play better. And that self-talk, what are you guys saying to yourselves when you look in the mirror, when you go to bed every single night? What are you saying? Are, are, do you deserve this? You can only answer this for yourself. Do you really believe that inside? Do you really believe you deserve this? Or do you defeat yourself? Do you sabotage yourself? Because maybe you think you don't deserve it. I'm going to tell you something. You deserve it. Every one of you are a child of God. No matter what God you believe in, you deserve it. You deserve it. You're all special. Every one of you. If you don't think you deserve it, go get some help. Self-help. You can't help anybody else. If You can't help them up if you're not up. Right? You deserve this. So what else are you saying to yourself? Be supportive of you. Be, you should be your biggest fan. You guys all have talents. Every one of you has a talent. Use that talent. Magnify your calling. You guys have, are the, the conduit, could be, to help hundreds or thousands of people. My wife and I have 33 people now that have come home and said goodbye bye to their boss. And... That's profound. I don't even know how you put a price tag on that. I don't know what other job I could do where I could help, have helped 33 people fire their boss. Now you have a husband and a wife raising a family. You guys get to do that, right? But you kind of got to get out of your own way. And so I, I, I'm big. I, I mean, I, you guys, you, you need to give yourself positive at Stuart Smalley. I like myself. <laughs> and gosh darn it, I'm worth it, right? <laughs> But you got to work on you. you. It's going to be phony if you're out telling people that you're going to be rich and they're going to be rich and you don't believe you're going to be rich if that's what motivates you. You're going to fire your boss and they're going to fire their boss, but you don't believe you're going to fire your boss. You should work on that. You need to start with the end in mind. You need to have a, you know, it, I didn't really, I was, I've never done this before. The only thing I think talent we really had is that I was coachable and that we, and that we, we knew what we wanted. We had a really clear vision. And so I would say as you're talking to yourself, make a clear vision. Where are you going? What do you want? What does the end look like? Okay? All the way down to your day-to-day. -day. My day-to-day -day is awesome, you guys. I live, I'm living my dream right now. I wake up when my body's tired of sleeping every day. I woke up today, thankfully, changing the premier schools to 1 o'clock. <laughs> when my body's done sleeping, right? Think about that for a second. I go to bed at night when my body's just tired of being up, right? It's freaking awesome. I, I wake up and I, I work out every single, almost every day. I take one day off. I work out almost every day. I start every day with two or three miles running, and then I do some weights because I wanted to be in better shape when I turned 50 than when I was 40. I'm 38 pounds lighter at 50 than I was when I was 40, and I couldn't have run two miles when I was 40 years old without coughing up a kidney or a lung or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, then I, and then I literally, I have the t really, really tough decision of do I want to go to a movie or go golf? I have to make that decision. It's tough, right? I'll do some phone calls and hopefully have some meetings set up, but I'm living my dream. I want you guys to figure out what your dream is and have a crystal clear picture of your dream in your mind. It's super, super important that you do because when you talk to people, it'll be genuine then. It'll be genuine, just like when you, when you hear about this product. And I have a little bit of a different take on all the science. I love the science, you guys. And I, was, I'm, I went straight to the science library when I saw that ABC primetime video. If that product is real, it's the most important supplement a human could take, I haven't changed. I haven't wavered one day. I think it's the most important supplement in the world today. I don't even think anybody, I don't even think there's a debate about it. If you're going to run out and you're going to start throwing up at the mouth about NRF2 and mitochondrial DNA and superoxide dismutase, nobody is going to follow you. Okay? All that stuff, in my opinion, is for you. So that when you're talking to somebody who maybe pushes back just a little bit, they know that you know that you believe exactly what you're saying. That you believe 100% that life and protanum is the, the best supplement a human can take. The most important thing you can put in your mouth. 
That's what I think that science is for. That's why I also think it's important for you to know where you're going. So when they're talking to you, they know that you know exactly where you're going. There's a re other reason it's important to know where you're going. Because when people tell you no, which they will, that doesn't mean no for you. Uh, sometimes people get kind of confused. I've seen it before. I quit because people kept telling me no. Well, that meant no for them. That didn't mean no for you. I, my wife and I had 70 or 80 people who said no to us. Did that mean no for us? That just meant no for them. Right? They just missed it. They just aren't going to do it. It's okay. That just happens sometimes. That's just the way that it goes. It's not for everybody. We're still friends. I never lost to one of them. Nobody ever said, I'm so mad at you for showing me that video. I'm never going to speak to you again. <laughs> Nobody ever said that. I didn't push or force anybody into doing the business ever. We're still friends. We can still golf. Just at different courses. <laughs> okay? I'm, like, I'm not golfing at any muni if I don't have to, right? And so have this clear vision of where you're going and have this belief, this big belief. When my wife says, when, but much, believe much bigger, much sooner. That's what I'm talking about. You guys, it gives us something. It really does. Do you understand, in, in a lot of network marketing companies, I'm not going to pick on any one in particular, but just pick one. Nutritional new network marketing company. And I love all network marketing companies. I'm not putting them down. I love them. I love Amway. I love New Skin. I love, I love them all. But in so many of them, because of the absence of science, they have to come up with some fantastical romantical story to inspire you to go, yes, that's the one I'm going to do. The Juice Wars, I think, are a perfect example of this. I think there's good products. I'm not, taking, not tearing down any. I'm talking about delivering the message. So we have new super juice, and our juice is special because the berry only grows on the moon. <laughs> you guys know where I'm going with this? Our juice is special. This is the story you tell because our fruit only grows under camel dung in the Sahara Desert. <laughs> right? And if you just drink three ounces of our camel dung Sahara Desert juice, it's like having a billion glasses of red wine and 4,700 cherries and 13,000 apples and 1,600 oranges and, 14, and a pea every day. Right? <laughs> You guys, you, you have to tell that story because you know why? You don't, have, you don't have science. So you have to come up with that. Oh, yeah, that, that, that makes total sense to me, sir. <laughs> right? You guys have science here. One of the things I remember a lot of the experts in the beginning saying about life energy, the ones that came over here too, is, you know what's so awesome about this? You don't have to be an expert here. You just have to say PubMed. <laughs> P-U-B. M E D. We the experts are there. If if I'm sitting in the crowd and I think I got to learn NRF two science and I'm thinking maybe I don't want to learn NRF two science maybe I, I don't sound credible talking about NRF two science so I'm going to make it really really simple for you I think I hope anyway super super simple for you I hope can get across to you in a way that you can do the one thing that you need to do to be a pro ten now the the one super important thing there's lots of little things. But the one thing that will guarantee you Pro 10, exposures, 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 more and more and more of them, faster and faster and faster, it cannot happen fast enough, you cannot do enough meetings, okay? So if you're sitting around and your goal is to be a Pro 10, you want to be there as fast as possible. Does anybody want to take the scenic route, like go real slow? No. Okay, you all want to get there as fast as you could possibly get there, right? You need to, yes. Then you need to jam pack your free time with Life Vantage until Life Vantage becomes your major thing. In fact, what I would recommend is that if you're a construction worker or a chiropractor or whatever you are, you are no longer that. You're now a full-time network marketer just kind of paying the bills with construction and start filling in your free time with work and, your free, and then the rest of your time is filled in with life vantage. My wife and I, when we had a practice, we had a three-hour lunch every single day and I would do one or two meetings every single day. And then we would get off at 6 o'clock at night and I would do one or two meetings at 6 o'clock at night. And then I would eat at 8, and that sucks. Like, you always know who's building the business because they're getting fat. <laughs> because they go to an opportunity meeting 100 miles from home, and then they meet at Carl's or Village Inn, and they have artery-clogging pancakes <laughs> at, uh, at, at 9. Listen, you guys laugh. It's the truth. I can remember a meeting in Mountain. Mountain, what's that? What's that? Manitou, well, I don't know, somewhere between Colorado Springs and Denver, and I grew up my whole life there, and I can't remember where it is now. Manitou, is it Manitou? So, 
So we go down there and it's a village inn and it's like 12.05 in the morning and everybody is jam-packing their face with pancakes and syrup and stuff. And I just, I, I just like this, you know, this is all network marketers. That's what these guys are. They, they have been busy doing what's important, talking, so much that they forgot to eat. And now before they go to bed, they have to fill their bellies with pancakes. But that's how you got to be. I'm just telling you, that's how you got to be. All the unimportant things like sleeping and eating, you can do more of later. Okay? Talk as much as you can. And so the easiest way I think I have found to not just me talk as much as I can is just to try to go help other people to do the same thing, to talk as much as they can. And so right now, I only talk about this because there's just a lot of confusion. I don't want to say confusion. There's just a lot of ideas. There's a lot of things. Of, oh, we, we, there's videos. We need a new video, and we got videos all over the place. They're great. Awesome if you want to use a video. That, just use it. I just want to try to make this as simple as you, I can make it for you. I don't know that we need... I, I, didn't, I didn't have any of those videos that are online right now. And they have, I'm not saying anything against the people that made them. I didn't have them. We, Jill and I didn't have them when we got this done. Right? It's a good thing we didn't know we needed those videos. <laughs> we had one video. Do you know what video we had? That broken down, tired, old ABC primetime video. That still works today. Marcel said something to us six years ago. He goes, you know what's so awesome about that video? This game is about duplication. That's what this is all about. It's about reproduction. That's what this is about. When you press play on the video, what, what does it do, Tony? It says the same thing every time. It says the same thing every single time. That's duplication. You know that every time I push that video, it started out with, you want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? <laughs> right? I've heard it a couple times. You know why? Because I press play on that stinging video a lot. A lot. I press play on that video a lot. Okay? And so guess what? Newsflash. I still use the video. I, don't, I use the ABC. I, I use the same video that's been on my iPhone ever since the beginning of this company. I've never changed the videos. I just use that video. I put it on my iPhone because you never know when you're going to get a chance to talk to somebody. Right? You never ever know. And so let me help you. I'm going to show you what I say when I talk to somebody. Whether I'm doing an opportunity meeting or I'm meeting them at a Starbucks. I don't drink coffee, but Starbucks is a popular place to meet. So I'm going to show you how I do an opportunity meeting, okay? And, and I start out every single one by, like this. Like, I need to know, who am I talking to? Do I need to overcome a hatred or fear of network marketing with you? I might. I don't know. I don't know you yet. So do I have to talk to you about why network marketing is a, a better choice? Because it is clearly a better choice. This is not rocket surgery. Anybody can tell somebody this is a better choice. Because I'm going to tell you, this is my... This is my, my take on this, okay? I can't think of a one that I would take. Jobs suck. Every job sucks. Do you know why jobs suck? I'll tell you why they suck if you want to argue with me. I love my job. Jobs suck because bosses suck. Okay? And even if your boss is a sweetheart, if he tells you when to come to work and when to go home, and if you can take vacation and when to go to the bathroom, and if you could, when you eat lunch, I don't even know how he knows you're hungry. Bosses are awesome. How do they even know you're hungry when it's lunchtime? Jobs suck. Network marketing is a better way. I don't care what job you have. Jobs suck, right? Americans want freedom, and they think they're free. They're not. They think that they are. You need to go unplug them like the Matrix. You need to go help them figure this out. Tell them red pill, green pill. Okay? Except for make it yellow pill. So you have to go unplug them. They, they're wrong. They think they have freedom because they live here, and they don't. And you can ask them a couple simple questions. Does somebody else tell them when to get up? They're not free. Does somebody else tell them if they can go on vacation? They're not free. Does somebody else decide how much they're worth? They're not free. When they bought a car, in fact, let's just look around. This is a room of entrepreneurs. How many people in this room went down and picked out their dream car and wrote a check for it and didn't ask permission from anyone? Raise your hand. Look at around the room. One hand, two hands. Most people you know go down and say, here's my budget, here's what I make, and here's what I owe. And he goes, here's the three choices. Is that freedom? You have to ask permission from some dude who probably makes less than you to buy a car. Do they do the same thing with their house? How many people in here wrote a check for their dream house and didn't have to ask permission? Not very many. N not very many Americans. That's freedom. 
When my wife and I found that house, she looked at the pool and that was it. She was done. It was over, closed. We didn't sell our house in Colorado. We didn't even put it on the market. To get that, we just went to St. George and we hired the same moving company. We moved our stuff and we bought that house and we didn't ask permission either. That's freedom. My wife says, when you hit Pro 10 twice, you get to buy your dream car. Some of you heard this story. It's a big deal to me because I've never had my dream car. You can buy your dream car. And I had tested them all, the Audi R8. It, I, was, I was leaning towards the Iron Man car. I'm just telling you, Iron Man's a cool show. <laughs> I was leaning, I, by the way, I only watch movies on planes. So I don't, I don't get to go to a whole lot. But Iron Man, the Audi R8, that's a cool car. That car was sexy. The Corvette, loved it. Fast, beautiful, nothing screamed midlife crisis like that car, though. <laughs> Porsche 911, awesome driving car, sounds like a Volkswagen. Okay? I was really leaning toward the R8. Didn't perform as well as the other two, but it was sexy. And then I, I went to the Super Bowl, which was one of my bucket list things. I went to the Super Bowl. Somebody in our downline knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who's Ozzy freaking Newsome. Right? I didn't know Ozzy Newsome, but I have his number in my phone now. And I get tickets to the Super Bowl, and the Broncos go and get their teeth kicked in by the Seattle Seahawks. Hey, at least we were there, Chiefs fans. And it was, it, it was horrible. Hey, I'm good. we're used to getting our heads kicked in the Super Bowl. It was horrible. But I went home and I had DVR'd it because everything I watch is on DVRs because I don't watch TV when I could be talking to somebody. And I watched it again for some reason and it sucked again. For some, it was the exact same game I had watched in person. And it, it was even worse because they kept showing the fumble over and over again. Right? But there was a commercial. There was a commercial. I don't know if any of you remember this commercial, but it was the Bad Boys of English acting commercial. And they had this mansion out in the moors with all this fog and mysterious lights and all these bad boys from English acting showed up. You know, these, these guys always play villains on Bond movies and stuff. And they're having this secret powwow about taking over the world. And then they all pull out from behind this castle in the new Jaguar F-Type R. And I said, uh-oh. <laughs> this is why God made me watch this video. <laughs> I hear you. I said, I got to go look at that car. That is sexy. If anybody's seen the F-Type R, it is sexy. There's a Jag dealership not far from here. Go look. And I thought, I got to go look at that car. So I go, I go to the car, I get in the car, I look at it, and it's pretty sexy. It's got the sexiest rear end of any sports car out there. <laughs> this is, I'm a rear end guy, okay? <laughs> Should tell you how the story about how we really met. <laughs> hey, listen. I hadn't even seen her face. <laughs> and I said, oh, that's the woman I'm going to marry right there. <laughs> she says to me, it's a death wish. I don't know what she says. She says, Skip, just don't embarrass me. She says that every single time. I had, I, I had, I wasn't embarrassed her until she said that. <laughs> it's a sexy car though, right? And I started it. Who's heard my, you guys have all heard my car, right? It sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? It sounds like it eats, eats Porsches, okay? And as soon as I started it, I, I was sold. Turned it on, started it, and it just, I'm sitting in that car, and I was like, I'm buying this car. I don't care what it costs. He says, it goes zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> Listen to it. Go 200 miles an hour. Just give me the title. I didn't even care what it this is how I pictured it when I was back in the room, when I was a pro three or a pro four or whatever. This is how I pictured it. I want you guys to picture it like that, okay? Because it'll make it easy to explain when you're asking people whether they hate network marketing or not. I hate it. You're an idiot. You don't even know. You're literally a fool. Like You don't even know. It's a better way. Who says so? Robert Kiyosaki says so. Warren Buffett says so. Donald Trump says so. It's always a little quieter for Donald because he's running for president. And people are like, <laughs> it's on the David Letterman show. Who saw that? Yeah. Donald, what would you do if you lost everything today? What is his answer? Yeah. Network marketing. And the crowd boos. And he goes, that's why you're out there and I'm right here. <laughs> it's a better way.
Do you hate it so much? Do you hate network marketing so much that you wouldn't go back in time and be the third person in normal life? If the answer is yes, then you go, I can't fix stupid, right? <laughs> Protanum does a lot of stuff. It doesn't cure stupid. So don't speak to that person anymore. You're going to be the combined income of the 10 people you hang around with. Don't hang around with that dude anymore. You need to have a little vision here, okay? And if you can't look back in time and see a missed opportunity, you probably aren't going to look forward in time and see one. If you can't, if you can't say, yeah, I would be the third guy in Herbalife, geez. next. I don't, I'm not going to overcome the objective with you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to overcome that. So if, I can, if I'm now talking to somebody who's at least open a little bit, now we can have a discussion. Stop trying to motivate people and just go find some motivated people. Stop trying to give people vision and just go find some visionaries. It's just way easier that way. I still don't know how to turn a no into a yes. So why are we trying? So if I'm over the hurdle, do you hate network marketing so much you wouldn't go back in time? Well, then let me tell you what I think are some of the important things about network marketing. Because we all know people who have tried and failed and, and I know chiropractors who tried and failed. We all know people who have tried and failed. Why did they fail? Let's study it a little bit. Let's just be critical. There's a couple of three or four components we could talk about that make it easier to do network marketing. I think it's easy. We could all agree on them. This is what I do, by the way. These are the three or four things I talk about at every single meeting. I draw this. You could draw this on a napkin. It's my opportunity wheel. It's not a perfect circle. I've still never drawn a perfect circle. There's a, there's a lesson in there, by the way. You don't have to. You don't you have to draw a perfect circle. You don't have to say the perfect thing. Do you get that? The right person's going to see this anyway. So stop sitting around waiting till you come up with the perfect spiel. Man, just go throw up on a bunch of people, right? Just do that. This is my opportunity wheel. These are the things that are important, I think, in making the decision about whether you have a good opportunity to do a network marketing company. One of those things is the product. I think the product's important. I showed them the ABC primetime video. Oxidative stress is a big deal. It only causes the aging process. When I saw that video, I said, I am going to A, take that for the rest of my life, if that's true, and B, I think I know some people who also would like to age slower. Maybe. There may be a couple of people who would like to age a little slower. Maybe we could make some money with a product like that. Does it lower oxidative stress? It absolutely does. Do we, how do I know? Because we have peer reviews. Am I going to sit here and read the peer reviews to them? I am not. But I have a couple of things on my phone that I like to share with people. Once we showed that oxidative stress lowered, ox, uh, uh, that protanum lowers oxidative stress not once, not twice, but three times, where do the PhDs go? Do they keep proving that we lower oxidative stress? Is that the next study? Is that the next study? Is that the next study? No. Where do they go? Where do the PhDs go? Who don't really have a dog in the fight? They, yeah, but what do I mean? They're not talking about oxidative stress anymore. What are they talking about now? What are the research? That's the question I asked that new person. What are they talking about? Well, let me read to you so that I don't get in trouble by the FDA for making a claim. Let me read to you, okay? What are they talking about? How about this? The chemo preventative effects of Protandum. I didn't name that article. They did. PubMed, where the government stores all its peer-reviewed research. And I say this, what do you think the world is going to do when they read that article? Nobody knows that yet. What's going to happen when they find that out? That's not ProTandem. That's not Life Vantage. That's Louisiana State University PhDs. I read them this one. ProTandem attenuates intimal hyperplasia in human saphenous veins. Your studies aren't on people. Oh, really? Human saphenous veins. What do you think? You know what attenuates means? Lessens, mitigates. And now I'm done talking about the product. What else am I going to say? I'm going to dull the point. It's like taking a sharp pencil and just keep tapping it on the desk. What else am I going to say? I might say one other thing if I'm talking to a woman, because you guys are weird, freaky weird, right? <laughs> I've been, my wife has taken me to the mall. We've all done this. All dudes have done this. That dreaded day at the mall by the Macy's counter or whatever, when they're doing all the perfumes and they're putting the mascara and stuff and they're doing all the lotions and potions on their skin. You guys are crazy about this stuff that you put on your face. I've seen. Why will you use all of these potions? Why? Because you want to look younger. Well, ProTandem, because it activates the NRF2 pathway, allows me to make this claim. It will slow the rate at which your cells age. Which cells? The cells in your body. True science, it will slow the rate, the rate at which your cells age. Which cells? The cells on your face. That's which cells. The cells on your face. So you now, as a woman, have a question to ask. Do I want to have fast aging face or slow aging face? <laughs> if you would like to have slow aging face, there is only one product in the whole world that you can take. True science. What else am I going to say about that? Do I, should I bust out some more studies? 
What else do you have to say? If they don't get that, next, next. There's no market there. Okay. So I talk about the product about that long. I talk about something else. It, it does, it, it, I look at who's in the room. Maybe I'll talk about the culture, and I will tell you why we have a better culture than other companies. Because we're new. If you go to an Amway meeting right now, great freaking company, by the way. If you don't like their culture, tough, noogies. You can't do nothing about it. They're 60 years old. They're not changing for you. We, we have a better culture. Come on an incentive trip. We have an awesome culture. We take care of our distributors too, by the way, on these trips. These are extravagant. We had a, have a better culture in, and we're trying to raise the bar in everything we do. Now, I'm not telling you to say all this stuff. I'm just trying to give you bullets to fire. Our car program is a great, our Jeep program is a great example of a better culture. The heart of the people that are making the decisions at Life Vantage. We didn't want to burden you with a lease like every other network marketing company in the world does. Hey, you're selling six, $100,000 a month of my Swallows vitamins. It's not a real company. I made it up. Okay? And when you sell $100,000 of my Swallows vitamins, we're going to give you a BMW. No, we're not. <laughs> Congratulations, you're selling $100,000 of my Swallows. Go get yourself a BMW. That's all getting cut off the tape. I promise that won't be on Pro Audio. You wait and listen for it to come out. And listen for my Swallows. They won't say it. <laughs> It'll get cut. I already know. I've been taped enough to know. Okay? So they had their fingers crossed. Why? Because they're not really going to give you a car. What are they going to give you? A car payment. They're going to give you a lease. Go down and get out that BMW because we've got a, a special deal with BMW. And, and, and put the down payment on that car and then we'll, we'll make the lease payments as long as you sell $100,000 of my Swallows vitamins. What happens, what happens if you sell $99,900 of my Swallows vitamins? You make the payment. They didn't give you a car, they gave you a lease. These people, I guess, don't understand that you don't have to sell vitamins to get a lease. Like BMW will pretty much give those to anyone. All you have to do is qualify, they're gonna give you one. They advertise those things on TV. Have you guys seen the commercials? <laughs> Anybody can have one. So what do we do? We give you a car, we give it to you. There's one parked out front. Do you notice how they, they park theirs out front? I don't even think it's in the driveway, it's up on the side. Do you know why? Because they can, it's a Jeep. You think we picked the Jeep because we're cheap. We didn't. We picked the Jeep because those things will climb a damn tree. You can go anywhere you want in a Jeep. <laughs> you know what it really means, though? It really means this. You don't have to get on the same road as all the other people. All of these people that are already dead and don't know it yet. They're just sitting in their little steel coffins on the freeway waiting to go to a job that they hate, working for people that they hate until they're dead. And they call that life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I say, bull crap, man. They don't have any idea what it is. They don't know what it really is. We gave you the Jeep because you don't have to get on that road. If it's too crowded, just drive somewhere else, man. You can, don't, you can get on any road you want to. You can make your own road. You can take it off road. <laughs> that's why we gave you the Jeep. That's why we gave you the Jeep. And by the way, that's what you're really selling, too. He, somebody asked earlier, what's the, uh, the, uh, the retirement age? Forbes said that 10 years from now, it won't be. Nobody will get to retire. It just won't happen. We won't keep bumping it up. Pretty soon, people are just going to outlive life, outwork life. This was a big article. You could just go Google it. I don't remember. It was like three or four months ago. But listen, I was at a Walmart because my wife needed salami. Okay? When you go to Walmart, it's the most depressing place in America, by the way. <laughs> Who's at the, I'm, and if you work at Walmart, God bless you, I love Walmart, but <laughs> who's greeting you at the front of the door? Old guy, and everybody goes, old guy, okay? So Mr. Old Guy says, welcome to Walmart, and I'm in a hurry, and I got to run over to the deli counter, and I ring the bell because I can't see who's working, and then I see somebody under the thing, and he stands up, and he doesn't stand all the way up, he stands about this far up, and, and he's, like if he had come up to me and said, hey Skip, how old do you think I am? I'd have guessed... 90 just to be nice just to be on the safe side you know i'm well below how old you really are that's what i would have guessed okay oh you're so nice i'm 117. The, this dude if he wasn't 100 i i have never met an older person than this guy he, they hired him in the deli because when he cuts his hand on the little slicer machine it doesn't bleed this is how old this guy is right he's ancient 
ancient, and I'm in a hurry. You can't make this stuff up. I'm over here at the deli desk, and he's all the way over there, and he starts walking to me. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't have time for this dude. And I notice that he's already by the salami. So I run over to the salami and I go, I need this piece right here. This, this, whatever this is, I'll have this. And I need you, I'll buy a pound of it. And so he reaches in with his claws and he grabs, <laughs> he grabs this stuff. He said no to network marketing, so don't feel so bad to him. He, he grabs this, this log of meat that he can barely handle and he uh, throws it up on the thing. And I'm like, I'm in a hurry. And I'm like, God, I don't have time. And he's going, Ugh. And after like 10 minutes, I go, listen, I got, how much you got? I got, I'll take those four slices. I got to get out of here. <laughs> the question I'm going to ask you is this. Do you think that was in that guy's plans? He's going to work at Walmart until he's dead, folks, until he's dead. That should scare the living crap out of you because that's a lot of us if we don't get our act together and then just make a decision. That's all we have to do, like Mark said. It just, you just have to make a decision. I love the culture of this company, and the reason we picked the Jeep is because it says freedom. That guy has no freedom. He is going to die at Walmart. It's too late for him already. I talk about, I don't know, you can talk about the company. You can talk about whatever. I love the company. I love the Real Salt Lake sponsorship. Okay? I love the fact that we're public traded. I love all that. Whatever motivates you, talk about that. You can talk about the training systems. This, being able to turn a regular stupid chiropractor into a Pro 10 who's never done this before. A truck driver into a Pro 9. So talk about our training. Maybe our training is what gets you excited. Talk about that. And then I talk about the last two things. Because I think they're, and this is the proportion, by the way. I talk about the comp plan because it is the number one comp plan in the industry. Period. I want to read you guys something. I'm going to go over. I'm just going to tell you. But not only five. The guy over here who's working here is like, no, you're not. <laughs> you can turn this off. I can talk pretty loud. We have our comp plan, okay? Well, all publicly traded companies are allowed, or have to put out their comp plan. I'd like to read to you another. A company that I love, by the way. A great company. I'm actually going to change the name so I don't get in any trouble. This company is called Bluefin. And Blue Thin is a cosmetic and nutritional supplement company. And they're a great company. They're one of the big ones. I mean, I, I hope someday to be them. I'm not knocking them. But here's their comp plan. Their average pro one makes $35 a month. What does ours make? 100 Their average pro two, this is their website, $60, $82 a month. What do ours make? Okay. Our average pro three, for some reason, their average pro three goes down to $39 a month. That's when people start quitting. Okay, what do our Pro 3s make? Okay, their average Pro 4 makes $401 a month. Their average Pro 5 makes $801 a month. Their average Pro 6 makes $1,300 a month. What do our 6s make? $5,600. There's a little bit of a difference there. The average Pro 7, $2,720. Oh, $2, Pro 8s in the room? Pro 8s? $5,241. Okay, Pro 9s, Pro 9s, Tony, 10, 5, 32, uh-oh, their average top, top rank, $51,436, we got them beat, we're four years old, five years old, okay, the earning statement is all you freaking need, don't spend a lot of breath explaining dynamic compression to them, okay, don't. But I want you guys to understand why our earnings statement does what it does. We pay up to nine levels dynamically compressed, okay? The higher rank you are, the more levels you get. We put our money where our mouth is. That's the point of this. I remember a meeting in the very beginning with Ryan Thompson. We were just talking about this the other day, where Ryan says, with our comp plan, I would like to be the world's largest employers of $30,000 a year part-time jobs. That's what I'd like to be. It's a lofty goal. Somebody's got to say something like that for it to ever happen. And we designed a comp plan around that idea. So what we did was we pay up to nine dynamically compressed levels. Obviously, the higher ranking you are, the more levels you get paid on. You have to be an elite distributor to get paid on ninth level. Okay? I, that's the wrong line. I wanted to go here. And then you got the premier ranks and the middle ranks. Okay? That was the right line. Okay? So here's what we do. If you're a pro one, you're qualified to get paid on three dynamically compressed levels. On the third level, we pay you 9%. So we pay you 2%, 5%. Then we pay you 9% on your third dynamically compressed level. Everybody who's a pro one and above gets paid on their third dynamically compressed level. It's 9%. Then we pay 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and 2. 
Where do you have to be to get paid on your ninth level? An elite distributor, the top of this company. Two whole percent. Two. Do you know how big my ninth level is? If you understand dynamic compression, you know it's my ninth level and every level past that. I have a humongous ninth level. Nine percent on the third level for everybody. So we have that comp plan. We have that earnings statement that shows that our pro fours make 1100 bucks a month and our pro fives make 22. And our pro sixes make 56 because we put our money where our mouth is. You know what happened? If we had not 9% there and had it there, we'd be like every other network marketing company in America with a couple of people at the top making monopoly money and nobody else making nothing. But this company put its money where its mouth was and put that, three, that 9% on the third level. You can't argue with that. That's exactly what we did in our outcome. People making monopoly, making $30,000 a year in part-time network marketing as pro fives. How you can't argue with that. That shows you where the heart of this company is. Right? Now, you don't feel bad for the tens because they average $90,000 a month. And if you can cut back, you can just get by. But <laughs> the comp plan rewards the middle ranks. You guys, for me, the comp plan is a big plus. It's a big check mark. If I'm going through this in my head and I'm a brand new guy, do I have a product that is going to stick around? Now, listen, you guys, this is going to get cut too. I, I, I love network marketing. I love network marketing companies. I think there's some good ones. I think there's some bad ones. Okay? And I'm rooting for all of them. But is this a product that's going to be around for 30 years? Do you really think people are going to be wrapping their tummies in, in saran wrap in 30 years? <laughs> now, I'm just saying. I'm just asking the question. Okay? Is this a product you can see living for a little while with all of our patents? The comp plan's a big check mark. Our culture is a check mark. So at the end of the day, I just tell them you're first. I don't care how you do it. You can be in the top 100,000 of these. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You can prove that. You can prove it. When that company gets a million, you're in the top 10%. When we get 17 million, like Amway, when you're in the top 1% or one half of 1%, you, we don't have 100,000. You see, we're transparent. We have to tell you. We don't have 100,000 distributors, not in America, in the whole world. You know why it's once in a lifetime? Because it's spread by word of mouth. Somebody told somebody who told somebody who told you. That's how you heard about this. You're only sitting in the seat you're in because you're the stinking luckiest people that you know. Every one of these companies gets our first 100,000 streamers. It's just never you or anyone you know. But here we are, don't even have 60,000 streamers in the United States of America, a country of 420 million, 320 million people. And everybody's going, when are we going to open Timbuktu? I can't wait to open Lithuania. <laughs> Listen, we haven't opened Chicago yet. We're in pre-launch in Detroit, in New York, okay? Why you would want to go there to build a team is beyond me when you could build one right here. Nobody in America knows about this yet. The reason it's once in a lifetime is because you know the chances of you hearing about anything in the top 100,000, 300 million people? 0 0.003. That's the chances of you guys sitting where you're sitting right now. Now, you recognize that you took, took action. There are people walking through by those doors right now, five feet on the other side of those doors, to and from their little daily life that won't hear about this for the next 10 years. And you're sitting in the seat right now. So what are you going to do about it? Okay? Here's how I close every meeting. And I'm going I'm to add to something that Tony said. We want you to do 15 presentations a month. That doesn't mean you wear a shirt and somebody says, hey, what's life ends? You go, hey, it's a network marketing company. That's one. Okay? <laughs> You do 15 presentations a month, and I'm going to tell you that I don't believe it qualifies as a presentation if you didn't talk about the product and the comp plan, and if you don't try to close. Now, don't be afraid of the word. My close is very high pressure. But if you don't say, do you want to know information? Are you in or out? If you don't finish with that line, it's not a presentation. Frustrating. I would do all these three-way calls when I was back in Colorado. I'd get people to meeting. People would come and people would come and then I'd call them and go, hey, what'd your guests think? Oh, I don't know. We really didn't talk about it on the way home. I didn't want to pressure him or nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just kind of putting it out there and hoping it comes back. Are you in or out, Mr. New Person? Do you want to do this or do you want to miss it? Do you think this is sales? Here's my clothes. You look like a nice guy, gal. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. We're only looking for those who want to. That's why this is not sales. It's just education. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to, man. You can miss it. The only push, the only pressure I give Mr. New Guy, you now have a problem. You've got a decision you need to make. You need to decide, am I going to do this or am I going to miss it? If you don't do it, you're going to miss it. Okay? Make that decision quick. 
Because you don't want to do it and say, hey, I wish I'd have started four months ago when I started thinking about it. Make that decision quick and then live with it for the rest of your life. Either make the decision and do this, not kind of, but do it, or don't do it. It's your decision. But don't waste my time and don't waste your time. Do this with us or miss it. It's totally up to you. But you need to think about two things real quick. You need to think about two things. You are probably, the law of probability says, 0 0.003, never going to have another one like this again in your lifetime. If you're okay missing that and you don't want to do it, then you don't have to. But you need to know another thing. My network of people found you. I'm going to find all your family and friends. <laughs> Now that's it. I'm done. I'm out. If you, don't, if, you want to do the, if you want to take the product, get with the person who got you here. If you want to do the business, get with the person who got you here. We'll teach you how to do this. Okay? We'll teach you how to do it, but we won't do it for you. And I can't want it more than you. You need to come to this company with that why. T Tony said pre-built. My why was already pre- I didn't have to think about my why. I didn't have to go and sit down and write down, what is my why? I was... My whole life was my why, right? My wife was my why. My children were my why. I had them before life vantage, okay? That's what you have to bring. If you'll bring that burning desire that my wife always talks about, we'll teach you everything you know, but we can't outrun you. And you can't outrun me, okay? That's what the thing I promise to everyone, every person in my group. If you need me, I'll come. You can't outrun me. Fair? Okay, so it's, we're over and it's over time. Come back up here, honey. What? Oh, yeah, well, no, timing is, I said, I don't care how you talk about timing. She want to know if I talked about timing. Did I not talk about timing? No. Yes, I did. 100,000, you're in the top 60? Yeah. Oh, I, I just didn't put the T up there. Let me put the T up there. <laughs> hey, but you know what? I'm going to prove to you, I think timing is the most important thing, period, end of story. Here's why. You guys are all prospects, every one of you. I just showed you an ABC primetime video and 16 peer reviews and six patents. It is the most important supplement a human could take. I just showed you the best comp plan ever designed by a computer system ever. A culture, Jeeps, all of it. But I get to the very end and I go, okay, well, the company's now called Amway Quickstar Pro Tandem. We've got 19 million distributors. How excited are you all? Timing matters. But it also, it matters to all of you. Because unfortunately, some of you are going to have seen it, been in the right place at the right time, have paid your money, and come to some events, and you're still, for some unknown reason, going to miss this. And that breaks my heart because you guys don't have any excuse. There are going to be people who are going to bump into you in 10 years and say, hey, why are you not a pro 10? And you were in in the very beginning. The great thing about this industry is that's up to you. That's not up to anybody else. It's literally completely up to you. The stories that you heard today from Tony, from Tirza, how big are your excuses? Somebody said no. <laughs> Tell Tirza. Tell Tirza. Somebody said no. <laughs> so I guess with what time we don't have left, we have eight minutes. I finished eight minutes early. Wow. Let me talk some more. <laughs> Thanks, you guys.